Hello and a very good afternoon or indeed good morning if you're watching us in America. My name is Ben Mosby and you are watching Crafters TV. Thank you for joining us. It is Friday! Yay! And you can see I have a very excitable guest who's going to be uh, with us, inspiring us over the course of the uh, next couple of hours. I'm always excitable, always inspirational. And I tell you what, today uh, on Colour Me Happy, I'm very excited because I'm seeing something for the first time that I've not seen here at Crafters TV in that uh, we know how much you love um, Spectrum Noir, we know how much you love your colouring, but today, Fiona, yes. it's all about the sparkle, isn't it, it? Yeah, it's all about the bling. I mean, I just love this. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the shimmer and shine on this beautiful, beautiful hummingbird. That is sensational is it not absolutely Love gorgeous it. so if i move that there you can oh, see it yes. even more there we go look at that and you know that's even more special ben because this is not only one of my demonstrations which we're using with my my amazing bundle of pens yeah but we're also going to give this away yes yes absolutely so what we're going to do is anybody who comments at the end of the two hours ben is going to pick a winner and we will get this fabulous card which i will get over just there there we go that will be going off to someone as well love it a so, little bit of bling for a friday exactly and that's what you need isn't it on a friday a bit of bling in your life a bit of sparkle so uh, make sure you're commenting during the show anything that you want to know anything you want to show maybe you've uh, been using sparkle pens or you've been doing some coloring and you want to inspire us send in your pictures um anything that you want to ask anything that you want to see particularly or we thought you know what seeing as it is the weekend and we're talking sparkle what is the sparkle in your weekend what's going to bring the sparkle to your weekend this weekend let us know i know uh that nikki d on youtube says hi everybody happy thanksgiving weekend to my fellow canadians so obviously if you're in canada um you're probably getting ready for thanksgiving weekend so happy thanksgiving weekend uh, from all of us to all of you i must say a big hello to uh, tammy who's watching in massachusetts uh, josie is watching as well uh, george yan in clearwater florida and lynn harvey says good afternoon ben fiona the ctv team and everyone from essex right <laughs> Let's get started. Get those comments coming in because we've got a jam-packed show to bring to you. Now, uh, on the show today, uh, you are going to be wanting to get your hands on these, the Gemini Decorative Outline Die Complete Collection, because these are going to be working, I think, perfectly with your sparkle pens. They're just absolutely stunning, uh, giving you the opportunity to, um, you know, kind of um, colour these, get like the stained glass effects going with these as well, get the acetate involved. You've got, with this collection, the Pretty Petals, you've got Majestic Hummingbird, uh, Butterfly Garden, Dancing Butterflies, uh, A Little Birdie in Full Bloom, Beautiful Bees and Sweet Succulent, 58 elements included there. Uh, for £87 or $109, look at the saving that you're making. Unbelievable, um, whether you're in the UK or the US. So pop those into your basket. I know already lots of you have been having a little bit of a, uh, a nibble at those and have bought them before the show. Um, we'll be showing you those in full details as we head throughout the show today. We've also got the Quirky Sentiments um, Stamps collection for you too. Again, uh, these have been, uh, well, disappearing before the show. Very, very popular indeed, and an absolute bargain. Uh, you're getting all of these for £12, a six-piece set, which includes the more and more every day, anything but predictable, unforgettable day, favourite human, keeping you and be yourself. Again, we'll see those in more detail uh, in just a bit, but again, look at the deal. Over 15% off, £12 or $15 for that set. Now, if you love um, kind of fantasy, if you love sort of otherworldly, and particularly if you love fairies, you're gonna want this next collection. Uh, this is the six piece fairy garden rubber stamp collection. Uh, and basically everything that you would want as far as um, fairy stamps are concerned. You've got the fairy garden, the fairy magic, the fairy door, every home should have a fairy door, uh, toadstool home, magic garden and sparkle garden, almost as if we planned it, uh, 22 pounds or $31. Again, you're saving a quarter on that deal as to uh, what it normally should be. Uh, next up, staying with the uh, the rubber stamps with Christmas not too far away. Yeah, oh yeah, it'll be here before you know it. We've got the magical Christmas uh, rubber stamp collection. Uh, again, with this, you're getting plenty for your money with the Christmas Wonderland, Holly Grove. That's like a place I'd like to live that. Where do you live? Holly Grove. 
um, snowflake kisses and a magical Christmas. 1450 or 2050 if you're in the States. That is a 25% saving um, right across the board. And then we've also got some uh, amazing Spectrum Noir Harmony water reactive ink pads. Uh, to bring to you today as well. 13 piece collection here, always very popular. Uh, it's a saving of 14 pounds or $20 and some of your favorite colors included um, in that particular collection. 13 in total, including uh, your Chinese red, your honey pot, lemon tonic, we saw that on the earlier show with Sarah, uh, pink tulip, your fuchsia, noir black lagoon, I mean, they're all there, oasis, parakeet, sandstorm, ocean blue, baby blue and green topaz. Um, 50 pounds or $70 on that collection. Now, the stars of the show though, have got to be the sparkle pens. Um, I know we've got Fiona's star coming up in just a second, but before that, let's just um, tell you about another kit which you might be just interested in. Perhaps if you're thinking about getting into colouring, you're thinking about dipping your toe in the water as far as sparkle pens are concerned, then this would be absolutely perfect for you. This is the uh, Sparkle Ink Pen Collection, which brings you uh, your autumn uh, winter collection. No, it doesn't. I'm talking absolute rubbish. It brings you your glitz and glamour um, <laughs> collection. There's so many sparkle pens on the show you see you've got your watercolor card uh, and then you've also got your ink powder which is your finesse waterproof rustic brown and your floral delight stamp as well a perfect way to get going and it's 20 pounds or 28 dollars with a 20 percent saving for everybody as i say we'll chat more about that in just a few moments time However, lots of you have already been shopping before the show and lots of you are already shopping now for the main collection. This is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Ink Pen Collection with so many different colors in here. So you're getting the six piece autumn winter collection, the six piece coastal cottage, the six piece floral garden, six piece spring summer, the six piece nature trail, and then the three clear overlay sparkle pens as well. You're getting that as a freebie. It works out that you've got 40% off five packs um, you're paying for, but you're getting the, the six lots, if you see what I mean. So you're getting the clear overlay pens absolutely free, and it's £74 today wow. or $98. That is a wow. And then um, let's get Fiona's take on these as yeah. well, because she uses these, she's seen these before. What is so special okay. about the sparkle pens? I, I think this is glitter for grown-ups. This is <laughs> what I love about these. They really are glitter for grown-ups. And what you get when you get a sparkle pen is you're going to get, and I'm just going to pull out, these are just three of the Glitz and Glamour, which are in the starter pack. But, you know, it could be any of the ones we have going on. So what you're going to get in your pens is you are going to get something which looks like this. Now, when you get that home, really good time for me to actually show you right now how you prime them. Because if you take the lid off right now and try to work them, oh, what will happen yeah. is you will come back to me and say, but my pens don't work, no. Fiona. And I'll go, you're absolutely right. They oh. won't. Because what you're going to do, the first thing you're going to do, if I hold that near my mic, you can hear some ball bearings rattling around in there. And what this pen is, it's full of a water paste dye ink and microfine glitter. So you need to wake the glitter oh. up. So you shake it wake to wake up. it. Absolutely. Then you take your lid off just here. Now, uh -huh. I've left my brush bit in there. Now you see this yellow ring? This yep. is important. Right. You take that off uh -huh. and you throw it away. Oh. And then, you screw your lid back on and you're going to wait. Let's see if I can get it to do it until. Oh, there. There we go. And do it really tight, really tight, because what this does is that pierces this bit. Now, if I turn that round, can you see if I get the light right? It says push just on there, uh -huh. just somewhere there. You'll be able to feel it and see it. And it also says push on the other side. So what you do is you just do what it says. Now, it says push. Leanne now says she wishes she'd put squeeze gently oh. on here. Because what you're doing, going to do is you're just encouraging that ink to start. There we are, you can see it coming down. You're starting to encourage uh, that ink. Oh, yes to calm down the pen and fill that little reservoir. So I can see that ink, come on, ink. beginning to come down. And I can see, look, come can on. you see the brush nib here? 
it's beginning yeah yeah at the top to come through now as soon as it starts coming through you need to stop and just move it because it will come down the rest of the brush by capillary action by what look at that capillary action oh, will what, take what it down the bristles of the brush you just move it around you're going to get this incredible incredible color now the next thing you're going to see say to me is but fiona that's not sparkly it's not not particularly that's sparkly. not sparkly but i mean it's a lush color anyway but wait because when it's wet you won't see the sparkle ah. so you you leave it to dry or you dry it and as soon as you dry it, then I'm going to tip this in the light and hopefully you are going to see not only the most incredible sparkle, but what you'll see is it's even. It's spread across the page. It is absolutely gorgeous. Can we oh, stand? Yes. I get that. Yeah. Can we see the sparkle on that? It is absolutely, there we go, ram full. Let me see if I can move yeah, that yeah, you can yeah. see look at that beautiful there we go so that is why you need sparkle pens in your life they're absolutely fantastic you've got 30 pens to play with and you've got your clear overlay and you can see how beautifully smoothly that brush lays them on so if you love the idea of sparkle and you want something which is easy to use get the brushes they're going to be fantastic um, just amazing and you can see the sparkle that you're going to get quick question from me so the clear overlay pens yes. that you're going to get how do those work in conjunction with the pens in your set okay so you can use these as a sparkle water brush in fact let me just show you so let's say we're just going to put down a little bit of that pink garnet yeah and then you take your water so imagine this is a sparkly water brush what it enables you to do Ooh. is to drag the colour out without losing any of the sparkle. So you can use it like a water brush. Look, yeah. I can even take that colour and keep going. That's how rich those pigments are. Or you can use them over your alcohol colouring because oh, yeah. they won't they won't move your alcohol colouring around, which is fantastic. Or, you know, if you've got any of our really pretty pads, you know, like Sarah's beautiful range of pads, which are all pre-printed you can use them to decorate that. So for example, if I bring this in here, can you see, I'm hoping, cause so the paper came yeah. as that, but can you see, I've just highlighted some of the flowers in with the sparkle. So I used a tiny bit of purple and then pulled that out with the clear just to make that just go. Isn't that beautiful? By the way, that's one of the stamps in the quirky collection which i absolutely love anyway there we go so that's your clear uh well so there you go everything that you need in this collection we're busy for the main collection and we're busy for the starter kit as well but listen if the budget stretches the saving that you're making is immense today 63.94 or um, 83.70 in the States as well. Loads of you loving these collections. Um, uh, Jenny on YouTube says, love these sparkle pens. I can't wait to see the demonstrations. And Ray says in capitals, everything must have sparkle. Yes. Absolutely. I agree, Ray. It must have sparkle. Must Let, have sparkle. Um, get those comments <laughs> in. Remember, uh, we're going to be giving away one of Fiona's cards at the we end are. of the we show. Are. I just want to quickly, before we go on to the first demo, I just want to show you all of the colours that you're going to get with in this main collection um, so you can see all of those beautiful colors so this is the floral garden uh, in it includes i mean the colors are amazing you've got the firefly look at that sparkle every I know. time you... look, oh. there it is there it is you've got uh, orchid tangerine pink lemonade uh, your bar red and your cotton candy down the bottom wow. there uh, also included in this collection you've got your nature trail uh, the nature trail brings you a mushroom your watermelon your lilac and your lichen. I mean, that is a nature trail, isn't it? Finding watermelon and mushroom on the same trail. Uh, garden green <laughs> and your sunshine as well. But that is not all. Oh no, we're also going to bring you this, which is your autumn winter smoked quartz, your starry sky on there, olive jade and holly leaf, 
you've got Harvest Moon and Red Berry. Absolutely stunning, but that is not all, because you've also got in this collection the Spring Summer, bringing you Solar Red and Pink Champagne, Moonlight and Emerald Green. Look at that Emerald Green. Aren't they um, stunning? And you know, of course, that's how they come out of the pen, but you can water these down either with a, an ordinary water brush or with your clear sparkle, so you've got all the tones as well. Yep, you've got uh, Blue Topaz and Soft Jade finishing off your Spring Summer, and who wants to go to the coastal cottage yes me too uh, in your coastal cottage you've got magnolia and linen you've got the beautiful peach tree and cornflower blue and then that sea spray and pistachio the colors are just so lovely and then when you, you've got that sparkle over there as well look at that in the bottom there that cornflower blue just Amazing. Don't forget, you've also got included in there your clear overlay, uh, which we're giving you for free. Uh, that is fantastic. £74, $98. Great to see how you kind of um, get these going and prime these. Wait to shape them. That's the thing I will remember. Um, and do not miss out. Uh, Coletta Cooper on YouTube says, I keep those um, uh, yellow collars. Cut a slice in them and wrap them around my sewing bobbins, bob bobbins so they don't unwind. Oh, oh, yes. There you go. Upcycling. We love upcycling. There you go. Um, <laughs> talking about, just a couple of questions before we get started. Debbie says, do you have to prime the brushes every time or just the first time? That's a really good question, Debbie. Just the first time. What I would do, if you've had them lying down for a while, just give them a bit of a shake. Yeah. But when you're just giving them a bit of a shake to get those um, ball bearings moving again, but what I wouldn't wouldn't do is shake them with the lid off. So make ah. sure when you shake them, you keep the lid on and make sure you're not applying pressure. So once you've taken them off and broken the seal, gently does it. Um, and how would you, asks Karen, store the sparkle brushes? Uh, I store mine laying down like this in the, in the black storage. So in the black storage trays, or if, I, if I've got them, you get some trays. Let me show you. This is how they come. So they come in this plastic tray. Yeah. So when I'm going around, of course, I pop them in the boxes and I pop them in here. But when I've got them at home, I've got them in my black storage trays because they're the perfect length for them. Yeah. However. Yes. We have got a fabulous deal on the uh, black pen trays as well. Six trays uh, for $39.98 or, oh no. Usual price, $19.99 today. Buy one. Get one free. You get one free. Uh, Fiona's on it, you can tell today. So there you go. If you want a great way to be able to uh, store your pens, get these in your basket as well. Now we are going to do a demo. Just to remind yeah. you, comment, ask questions, and also let us know what is putting the sparkle into your weekend, please. What's going on? What are you looking forward to the most this weekend, wherever you are? We want to hear from you. Uh, any comments we'll read out. And of course, all those comments will go into the draw at the end of the show to win Fiona's card. But right now, enough chat from me. Let's see what Fiona's got up her sleeve. Okay, so we're going to go back to, you've seen how to prime the pen. So we're going to go back to the starter kit. So maybe you're just dipping in. So in the starter kit, you're going to get an ink pad just here. So this is your waterproof ink pad i'm going to show you how important that is in a minute you're getting your glitz and glamour which is your blue topaz your amethyst and that pink garnet that you saw me working with a moment ago you're getting 15 sheets of really high quality watercolor card i cannot stress this enough i've been playing with different watercolor cards recently for something else yeah this is really good this is really good it really does stand out so don't underestimate the fact you're getting 15 sheets to play with and you get this amazing stamp now the reason we've given you this stamp is it's got a lot of open space for you to color in now this is gray rubber if you've never used gray rubber before Oh, this yeah. is what you do. You what get you yourself a pair of scissors and what? here we go. You just cut it out. Now, grey rubber is really easy to cut Yeah. and you don't have to cut really close to it. So all you're going to do is to cut out your main image with a pair of scissors. There we go. Right. And all I'm doing is I'm cutting it close to. You are. But I'm not cutting where it's raised because, of course, that's the bit which is going to print or you're going to stamp with. But look how quick and easy this is to do. So never be afraid of grey rubber. It's a great way of getting really good quality stamps into your collection. So that is absolutely fine. 
Okay. So that's as easy as it gets. Are these going to stamp differently than to the like the stamps that I'm used to, for example, like the the C3 ones? What you're going to do is you're going to get yourself some of this. Yeah. Now this is our stick and spray. I know the US will need to get it from somewhere like HSN. Yes. Or um, one of the craft stores, or you get yourself some temporary spray mount, and we're going to use that on the reverse of the stamp. I've got one which I've stickied up here to make this sticky. Ah, okay. There you go. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to use our spray mount. So I'm just going to pop those to one side for a moment because I need to have a word with you about... Oh, with me? Uh, well, I need to have a word. Yes. I need to have a word about this ink that we've got in here. Ah. This ink this waterproof ink and why you need it. Now you're going for the rustic brown in here. So what you do is you put your stamp and you can see I've got my stamping platform. Then we are going to cover this. Now I just need to make sure I've got a huge heap of tissue to one hand and some water. We're good. Oh. Because I want you to see. There's some science coming here. Why this is important. So. There is, there is. There is, is gonna make there is, there is, there is. So you can see I'm really inking that up a lot, lots and lots of ink on it. Turn it over. Now I need to be quick just to show you this. So stamp that down and then look. That's lo what you're doing. Now when we say waterproof, that's what we mean. This is you just instantly. just tipped water over it. But the reason I did that was to show you the minute that hits a card, that is not going to move at all. Now, I'm just going to clean up this water, stamp it again, and then I'll show you how you can colour it in. Well, there you go. If that's not a great demo, <laughs> I don't know what is. Seriously, just chucking water everywhere. Chucking water Sarah everywhere. Sarah was having a, you know, a bit of a uh, dance around earlier, and now Fiona's chucking water all over the place. I know. I know. It's fun, isn't it? What are you it? guys like, eh? I know. Well, you see, it's Friday. That's and it. And anything can happen on a Friday. Yes. This is very true. Right, I've turned my mat over only because the other side's a bit damp. <laughs> so we're I just going why that to... Is. I I Do you know, I've got no idea. No. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to deny all knowledge of it if anybody comes back and yeah. asks me Blame as well. somebody else. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the way to go. And then we are going to stamp this down again. Now, I've just used about a quarter of a sheet of watercolour card. So there we go. There's my image, beautifully stamped out, and I know I can now go straight in. So I'm going to go straight in with that garnet. Now look, you can colour straight over yeah, look how it with that flows. garnet. I mean, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. It's just absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going to get one of my clear sparkle pens. Are you just, a silly question, but once you've kind of squeezed that initially then, are you then... Are you then squeezing it as you use it now? Is it, no, is it, no, no, because the capillary action, yeah, because of the way the brush is made, what it will do is it just allows that flow of ink down to the nib. Now, I will tell you something. The mechanism for this pen yeah. is, a, is the expense of the pen, generally, uh, because that mechanism doesn't block or clog. I've had these pens for ages, and that microfine glitter, yeah. to get that to work... Look at this. Yeah, I mean, just look. And look at that watercolour card releasing all of that colour, so you're not You can getting... see it um, dispersing. Yeah, you absolutely can. As you're colouring. That's incredible. Absolutely can. And look, the brush nib allows you to get right in to those fine areas. Look how fine I can get that. I mean, that is sensational, isn't it? I mean, even before the sparkle yeah. appears, that's stunning. Just to watch how the, 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 the red in the middle there was kind of just like see seeping out, like expanding before our very eyes. It was amazing. Absolutely. And look, my, my clear sparkle's now clear and ready yeah. for me to use on something else. So if I just give that a very quick dry yes. with my drying thing. Wait, is it, it with the drying Heat thing? Gun. Heat gun. Dry my thing. dry thing. Yeah, um, it's Friday. I don't do words very often on a Friday after, I, afternoon. Well, <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot the word page yesterday. Uh, Did you? I was, I was flicking through um, a pad, paper pad, and I was thinking, it's got 48... Um, <laughs> 
48, uh, and Derek was producing, said, pages? I was like, yes, pages, that, that, there's a word. That's the word, um, yeah, What words. was I going to ask you? Oh, heating with your heat thing. So if you heating weren't demonstrating on TV, would you let that dry normally or would you always Well, it's it only going to gonna take a moment or so, but look at that. Gorgeous. Look at that. So you could take that image and maybe... Yes. Turn it into a very simple thank you card. Mm. Isn't it easy? And do you know, it's a nice big image. You do that in red, it looks like a poppy yeah. as well. Now look at that as well. I mean, just stunning. And that ink has stayed exactly where it goes. So that is why if you just want to dip your toe in, we've got that little starter kit and it's ready to go for you. Yeah, just brilliant. Do you know what? I think um, that first demo gives you a real idea as to how great these are, how easy they are to use and what you can do. Um, and I think that grown up glitter phrase is the one that I'm going to kind of remember these for because th that's what it is in it. It is that real kind of grown up glitter, that sparkle that you want to add to all of your projects. The starter kit is great. Let's not, let's not kind of do this down. This is a great way for you to be able to get into this. Um, so you're going to get your, um, your three pens included in here. So you're getting the uh, glitz and glamour, which brings you your aqua, aqua marine, amethyst and pink garnet. You're then also going to get your um, ink, um, which is the the waterproof dye, of course. We're then giving you that amazing floral delight uh, stamp that you've just seen there. So again, lots of open spaces for you to be able to colour with. And then that watercolour card, which as we've seen is just absolutely perfect uh, for using with your sparkle pens. £20 is a great deal today, isn't it? When you think about um, how much fun you can have with this and actually not a huge expense for you to dip your toe into the water. But I'm not surprised to learn that the majority of people are going for the big bundle. Why wouldn't you? I mean, seriously, if you love your colouring, um, if you have been watching since the start of the show, you think, well, hang on, this is really easy to achieve. This, these sparkle pens are amazing. Why would you not go for this? Great gift idea as well with Christmas not far away. £74 or $98 for the whole collection. Remember, uh, this is Fiona's star of the show. The star of the show. Uh, you're getting 40% off because we're giving you the six sets of pens and actually the clear overlay pens uh, you get for free. They're worth $12.99 on their own. So included in this collection, the coastal cottage, the spring, summer, autumn, winter, na uh, nature trail and floral garden, bringing you, I mean, just all the colors uh, that you would want really from your brights through to your kind of mids to your darks as well. And just to give you a quick um, look again, we, I won't name all of these for you again, but you can see uh, the sparkle that you get. There's your coastal cottage. There's your spring summer. So more of the brights, more of the real kind of in your face colors there. And then we've got your autumn winter with the sort of more uh, muted tones. Love that um, harvest moon. A song there isn't there i won't do it don't worry starry sky as well there's another song i won't do it don't worry uh we've also got the nature's trail with the watermelon and mushroom just brilliant and then uh finally is your floral garden and uh, we've got in there the tangerine the barn red look at the pink lemonade down the bottom here love 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 all that included with the clear overlay as well 74 pounds is Amazing, or $98, huge savings to be had for you. Now, um, if you are wanting some things to get colouring with, maybe think about going for the decorative outline uh, dies that we've got on the show. We've got like a big bundle which gives you them all, or we've got smaller configurations for you. So this is the um, B collection, um, 23 pounds or $29, uh, saving 16.98 or 20.90. And if you've got the Bs, you probably want the birds or get the birds and the bees. Uh, you know, it's entirely up to you, however you wanna do it. Uh, these are gorgeous again. So your uh, outline birdie duo with uh, 14 elements included there. These are gonna be brilliant, seriously, um, for using in conjunction with your pens. Uh, you know, maybe trying to achieve that sort of uh, stained glass effect, get some acetate behind these as well. Uh, and then we've got your butterflies as well. So butterflies, birds and bees, uh, the butterflies collection brings you your butterfly garden and your dancing butterflies as well. We'll show you um, some finished samples of these a little bit later on, but that again, 23 pounds or $29. Uh, if you love your birds, you are gonna love the hummingbirds. Um, again, 14 elements in the duo here. Uh, this is the um, Hummingbirds collection, as I've said, uh, 23 pounds or $29. Or if you want to go for the full collection, 
there they are for you. So that brings you everything we've talk talked about. Uh, pretty petals, your uh, majestic hummingbird, butterfly garden, dancing butterflies, a little birdie, in full bloom, 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 beautiful bees and sweet succulent. Now if I just show you a few of the um, cards, uh, which gives you a bit more of an idea of how great these look in so this one here is the um, top one, which was the Pretty Petals. Uh, then, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. We've then got here the um, Majestic Hummingbird. Take a look at that. And again, you can see how uh, these are just going to work perfectly with your sparkle pens. They're going to be amazing, aren't they? You think of all that beautiful space that you can colour in using all the different colours that you've got within your collection. Uh, this one here is your Butterfly Garden. Again, you can see why these are relevant to the collection. All of these you know, beautiful images for you to get colouring in. You're going to have so much fun. And you've got all of the colours that you would need. Thinking here, you're kind of obviously going to use these with your floral garden sparkle pens that you get within the main collection. Uh, this one here is your dancing butterflies. Again, lots to be getting on with it. I mean, if you just want to use these as they are, as dyes, um, amazing. But seriously, once you've got these with your sparkle pens, get colouring away. This one is your In Full Bloom. One of my absolute faves is coming up next, which is the uh, Beautiful Bees. Again, plenty of um, fun for you to get going with there. That's great, isn't it? I love that card style as well. What's that card called, that one? Uh, it like looks a, like a kimono card to me. Yeah, like a tri trifold type thing. Kimono. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a tri it's a posh trifold. Let's a posh go with trifold. That one. Let's go with that. <laughs> I like it. And then finally is your um, your sweet succulent. Again, like the fact that we kind of um, mirrored that up almost. I think really haven't we there? But again, get Beautiful. your pens. Uh, in with these uh, dies and you're going to have a lot of fun. £87 or $109 for that collection. Lots of you going for that, lots of you going for the uh, main collection of the sparkle pens as well. So let's see some more of those uh, sparkle pens, shall we? What you yeah. got lined up, Fiona? Yes, yeah, so we're going to be playing with the decorative dies and we're going to be playing with these fantastic pens. So you can see you're going to get all 30 pens. These are going to keep you going for a long time and you're getting a pack of the clear sparkle thrown in now you're going to be able to do whoo there we go you're going to be able to do techniques so you'll be able to stamp and pull color out you'll be able to use these with your white embossing aren't those colors glorious really Lush. lovely you can there you go you could be doing your backgrounds with these as well you can be stamping with these oh, oh yes love that and then just spritzing with water to get these wonderful wonderful almost ethereal images going absolutely gorgeous and we're going to be showing you lots and lots of different techniques now what i wanted to do was i wanted to talk to the people who maybe aren't stampers yet yeah what if you don't stamp Oh, how are you going to get an image that you can colour in? Well, we are going to use these decorative dies. And remember, this is a card. We're going to be picking a winner and sending yes. out to someone. Now, this is with the Hummingbird. This is a gorgeous die set. So you're going to need your Hummingbird, your Majestic Hummingbird die set, which comes with all of these stamps. And the stamps have things like she believed she could fly, so she did. Just a little note to say, hope your birthday is as special as you to a special friend. You make me smile and sending lots of love. I love, it's almost like a, a typewriter, an old typewriter yeah. font, isn't it? Love the typewriter. Absolutely typewriters. gorgeous. And of course, it comes in a packet with this die as well. So I'm just going to pop that down there so I don't lose it. And we're also going to be using, now this, get yourself some of this. I have never seen matte black self-adhesive card anywhere else. So grab yourself a pack of this while we've got it. And I know we've got some in stock. So what you're going to do is cut your hummingbird out. So again a bit like the glitter card if you're watching sarah because this is black cardstock then it's got glue on the back then it's got a covering on the back you're going to cut into your metal plate so we're going to cut into our metal plate and i'm going to just use the sandwich i would use for cutting a die so, so hang on a minute this is going to cut out in your black cardstock but then you've got the, the, the adhesive the already there, already there. The adhesive is already there. So that means you're going to get an absolutely perfect adhesion around all those little areas. Now that's important when we're using watercolour card. 
which we're doing right now. Now, you can see, I'm going to take this out and show you. Can you see this has cut perfectly? There we go. Yeah. You can see it's cut perfectly. So all you need to do is to pop all of those bits out. And that has given me a perfect cut. Now, unsurprisingly, because I'm good like that, <laughs> I have already cut one out. And I'll tell you why. Because you do need to take your time to, to get all the little bits off the back. It's cut beautifully, but you do need to get all the bits off the back. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to take off our adhesive so this wow. is all sticky now yeah that's brilliant isn't it clever yeah and then just making sure that's all clear it takes away a lot of faff doesn't it from what it is really quite a does. decorative dye which might be quite difficult to glue normally it really does now you can spend a few moments pressing it down like this but here's a tip if you've got your Gemini handy, and you will have because you've just cut that die. Are you putting it back if in there? If you make up, yeah, the same sandwich that you would make to emboss any thin metal die and run it through your Gemini again. Top tip here. What that will do is rather than you sitting there going. and pressing it all down, yeah. what it's going to do is press it all down for you. Isn't that clever? That is such a, that is such a quick tip. It saves so much time. And what that will do is absolutely ensure that this is completely stuck to the card Brilliant. and ready to go. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use a mixture because you're getting all of them. And I'm going to be using Coastal Cottage. And I'm going to be using a bit of... Hmm, where, where's it gone? I'm going to be using a bit of spring summer as well okay okay lots of love for these outline dies they're um, fabulous leslie on facebook says these outline dies are lovely and that's a really good point isn't it because like like you uh, kind of alluded to Fiona, is that some people might not be into their stamping might not like stamping but these dies really do give you uh the opportunity i suppose as a as a colorist to to get colouring with the dyes. They really, really do. And you know, you can use one colour to pull out another. So I've put some moonlight on there mm. and I'm going to blend some of that in. This is with the um, sea spray yeah. from the Coastal Cottage. So you can start to blend the colour. You want it to blend a bit more than that already. You can grab your sparkle pen and just encourage it. Look, just encourage that colour to blend in there and then we're going to go darker at the base here so the thing is you've got so many beautiful colors you can choose from in this but look what's not happening that color is not seeping out underneath my die cut image because i've made sure that die cut is completely adhered huh. to it i can get right in to those bits and it's not seeping out into the rest of the color around the hummingbird isn't that clever so pretty um, yeah. there's a lot of hummingbird love on the socials and we've just got our two hummingbird correspondents Anne and also dieta with some hummingbird news oh fantastic yeah uh, Anne on facebook says I, I did not know this but I, I feel like i'm learning in craft and i'm learning in general knowledge as well Anne says did you know hummingbirds are only found in the americas Ooh. i just learned that yesterday I did not know that. I didn't know that either. And they can fly backwards as well, right, hummingbirds? Well, they, they, they almost, they almost, I went, uh, we went to Tobago. America's? Uh, many years ago. Yeah. And they had the sugar feeders up at the hotel for the hummingbirds. So we used to sit there and they are extraordinary because they do seem to just hover and they're tiny. This is the thing. That's probably actual, actual size. size. I mean, they are just so wee. They really are What beautiful. noise do they make? Do they actually sort of hum? I've never, I'd never noticed. I mm. never noticed. But then we also had some very loud birds, which were oh. making a lot of racket mm. around them as well. So maybe they were drowning out um, the sound of them. Dieta might be able to tell us what noise they make because she says, um, we That'd have good. eight hummingbird feeders. Our hummingbirds are very happy all year round. We've even had them nest on our patio. It was amazing nature at its best. Dieta, can oh, you fantastic. let us know what noise do they make? I mean, it might be difficult to describe just in written word. 
Uh, but if you I do, I do remember stalking them. What? <laughs> so, well, I was trying to get a picture of them, and I wanted a picture not on the feeders. I wanted a picture of them on the flowers. Right. So I spent a fruitless afternoon <laughs> with my camera stalking round, trying to get a picture of a hummingbird with a hibiscus flower. Wow. Yeah. There, there we, we go. go. Fiona Clayton, <laughs> hummingbird stalker. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely and why not but look how beautifully this is just working isn't it gorgeous so we mm -hmm. can color in all of that wing there and just bring that color down and then we're going to bring that color out so it doesn't matter can you see what's not happening is that color isn't spreading where i don't want it to go yeah which is just fabulous and of course you can make these whatever color you want i mean they were they were iridescent that's the thing that i remember about the most was yes. they were absolutely iridescent um like oil on water what um what card are you using here again i'm using two sets i'm using the coastal colors yeah. and i am using the spring and summer collection and on what card i'm using the watercolor okay. card because that is the perfect marriage and i have used just a tiny bit and i'm using my clear sparkle just to pull that colour out. So can you see I can get that colour to almost go away to almost nothing Silly question, on the end but there. I'll ask it anyway. Is it got to be watercolour card that you use? I mean, for best results, right? For best results, yeah. Watercolour yeah. card, stamping card sometimes as well. Mm. But I would, I would prefer watercolour card. If I had a choice, I would tend to go for that. Listen, just whilst we're watching Fiona colouring, it, it, it is mesmerising to see how this all comes together. Um, if you have just joined us, welcome. Thank you for watching us here on Crafters TV. Uh, do get in touch because we have got a giveaway on this show. Fiona's put together a fantastic uh, card, which funnily enough features uh, this hummingbird. If you would like to win it, um, all you need to do is comment on the show, okay? So uh, get in touch, get social with us on Facebook, down on the grams, that's Instagram, or um, I think you can comment on um, YouTube as well, of course. So any questions, anything you want to know, anything you want to ask, uh, if you want to join the comments about hummingbirds, hummingbird facts we're doing as well. And also, because this is a sparkle pen show, we're asking, what is the sparkle in your weekend? So it's Friday, Friday, yay! yay! Uh, what are you looking forward to? What is the sparkle in your weekend? Any comments, we'll get into the draw that we'll do a little bit later on. And also, we want to see pictures, please. Because yeah. maybe you've been colouring with your sparkle pens. Down below, all the way down there, uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is our email address. Send in your pictures, please. Uh, maybe you've already got some of these dyes you've got some of these pens and you've been doing some colouring any colouring we'd like to see but actually specifically any that you've done with the sparkle pens send those pictures in and we'll share them with the rest of the world um, Fantastic. so get those in we've got another um, hour and a quarter well 45 minutes gone already what yeah. no uh, really yeah I know where's the time gosh, gone gosh now look what I've done this time is I have just wet this area here with some plain water because I don't want this background area to be quite as sparkly so all I'm doing is just dripping that color in can you see how it's yeah. beginning just to to pull out now if you want what you can then do is you can go in with your brush and just pull that out a bit more yeah. but i want the deeper color just in there so you can see so that bit is going to be less sparkly so if i then bring in this one you can see look that's where i'm starting this is where I'm going, but I don't know whether you'll be able to see. You can see the sparkle yeah. on the bird, it's on the bird and on the flowers, but the background is less sparkly. And that's because the background was done pulling it out with water. So you've still got some sparkle, but it's much more diffuse. But where I wanted it to really sparkle, such as on that hummingbird, look at that, just go. So you, you need it. to get these dyes and have a play at doing that with these sparkle pens because imagine that, imagine receiving that. Wouldn't that make you smile? I mean, that would make you smile. Absolutely. Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm getting lost in the chat here. I've just been um, looking at pictures. Uh, okay. Um, on, online, whilst you've been... Sorry, Sally. Uh, we, well, no, Sally says, we have hummingbird moths here in the UK. I did not oh, know this. Oh, my word. Uh, they come out during the day and hover like a hummingbird with a long tongue to get at the pollen. I get them in my garden here in Devon. Uh, and I'm just looking at a picture of a hummingbird moth, which I've never seen before in my life. Wow, Are do you, you know what? Go is on. that Devon as in Devon, UK or Devon... Devon... As Devon, uh, as in Devon, UK, as in, yeah, my, as oh in my, my, my neck of the woods. 
Wow. I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to show this picture probably, but anyway, uh, I'm getting wowed in the craft world, getting wowed in the general knowledge world. I mean, I'm, I'm, well, I say I'm easily pleased, but I'm not. Uh, <laughs> easily pleased when it comes to these prices though. Seriously, look at this. £87 for this complete collection of the Outline dies. Now, seriously, these are great. Lots of you are going for this collection. Um, it's a great way uh, to get your colouring on, to get your uh, sparkle pens going. You know, perhaps you're not into your stamping, or maybe you just want a beautiful collection um, of dies to get working with. Now, this um, particular collection, as I've said, comes with so many different designs. So you've got your pretty petals, the majestic hummingbird that we've just seen, butterfly garden and dancing butterflies, a little birdie, in full bloom, beautiful bees, and your sweet succulent. If you missed the kind of uh, run through of those earlier, We'll look at some finished samples in just a little while. Now, um, if you have got lots of these pens, or maybe you just got a lot of the Spectrum Noirs in general, and you need some spend, spend? pen storage, spend, oh yes, uh, then, yes, yeah, it's a bit of a Sean Gullery. Uh, yeah, some pen storage. You will need the uh, pen trays. Now, six trays you're getting here. Normally, uh, $39.98. $19.99 or $24.95. So that, in, in, in my math, is a half price deal. So if you want to grab those six trays for $19.99, which is amazing, or $24.95, plenty of uh, reason there to get those if your uh, pens are out of control. Uh, we're very busy on the uh, Harmony uh, Water Reactive Ink Pads as well. This 13 piece collection, £50 or $70. Now within this, uh, lots of the colours which I've seen being used recently, actually, things like the, um, the Honey Pop, uh, also the um, Lemon Tonic, but also in there... Oh, hello! You're right, Fiona. Guess who's here? <laughs> Guess who's here? Oh, dear. Oh, and right, they did it all by magic. I didn't do a thing. No, a I, thing. I knew it. Wasn't I knew me. It. Was that? Is that Sarah? I think it was Sarah. Oh, Sarah. The ghost of Craig, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Sarah trying to get you back for nicking her pokey tool, I her ball tool, her glues. Uh, but no, listen. What was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh, we were talking about the thirteen-piece ink collection. Yes, that is very good. Great, yeah, amazing deal. Sorry, I'm just checking over there to see if Fiona's all right. But it's all good. Right. Yeah, nothing to see here, Ben. You're fine. You're fine. Um, right. Let us have a look at not only uh, the sparkle pens that we've got on the show, but sparkle pots. Now, um, I've got a question that has come in about these, uh, which I'll put to Fiona in just a few moments' time. However, I know we've got a lot of different um, collections for you. Some of these are limited. So, the crystal clear, first of all, is uh, really, really busy. So, you're getting... Um, Three um, tubs of the Crystal Clear, oh, $12.99 or $17.95. And these are on a uh, buy one, get one half price. So if you like that, you might want to add into your collection the Forest Glade, which brings um, your um, heart, hearth side, I should say, Lichen and Garden Green into uh, the collection. So you could get that as your half price if you're going for the clear. Now the traditional Christmas, which I have to say was one of my absolute faves, that one, my friends, has sold out. Has so it? It's gone. Oh. Yeah, it's gone. But I can bring you though, plenty of glitz and glamour. Oh good. This is though limited stock. Ah, oh, yeah. okay. Um, so go swiftly on that. That one brings you your aquamarine, your amethyst and your pink garnet. We've also still got uh, the perfect pastels. So if you like the glitz and glamour, you might want to add the perfect pastels in as your half price deal. Buy one, get one half price. Uh, that brings you your moonstone, cosmos and your rose quartz. And then, I mean, this is gorgeous. Your summertime which is also limited stock. Solar red in there. You've also got your emerald green and you have got your blue topaz, 12.99. And remember, if you're buying one, you get the second one half price. Now, if you're a little bit confuzzled like I am, I'm gonna ask this question, but it's not my question, so I won't take um, the uh, praise for this. But Karen has asked. Go on. The pens and the pots. Yes. When would you use the pens versus the pots? Do you know that's a brilliant question that I'm going to show you now. Come and have a look though at these pots because look at this, this is a clear. I'm going to wait, there we go. Can you see, this is your clear sparkle. Yes. If I tip that up, Ooh, you yeah. see all that at the bottom? Uh -huh. That is your microfine glitter. Now, what you do, 
sorry i just love doing this so yeah. i'm going to do this a lot look oh yes that is why you need this in your life now the thing is with the pens the pens comes complete with the brush so it's like ready to go that's your ready to go with your pots you're going to need a brush of some description i'm just going to spin some of these whilst i'm talking to you so i'm going to get out now the packaging don't get rid of the packaging the packaging comes with two of these plastic trays oh yes now the plastic trays can work just to hold your pots but but you can also use them as um pallets as well yes so look so there this is one of your perfect pastels there's all the glitter in the bottom you shake it around i mean that is a party in a pot right there now do you know why the pots came into into being ben how they came into being right when we got the sparkle pens yeah we went yeah we love them leanne we love them and do you know what we were doing we were squeezing the pens to squeeze out the ink yeah. so we could use them on bigger projects and leanne said she said do you know the most expensive part of that whole thing is the, is the mechanism which you're you're gaily squeezing the ink through she said would it be better if we put some in pots as well? And we ah. all went, yes, Leanne, that would be a really good idea. So the pots each hold 30 mils. The pens hold about eight mils. Right. So you can see immediately you're getting a lot of ink in here. So if you love the pens, what Leanne's saying is use your pens for what we intended them for. Yes. And use your pots for your big splodgy backgrounds that you want to be doing because that's what they're there for. So pots equals big and splodgy, basically. Big, big and splodgy backgrounds, all your techniques, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to use the Glitz and Glamour. We have still got that one in stock, haven't we? We do still have the, um, the Glitz and Glamour. Okay, so I'm very quickly just going to give these a stir. Now with these ones, you will need to give them a squirrel right each time you use them quick question as well yes. well, a couple of questions so the configurations that we've got of the sparkle pots yes. are different in colors to the pens i think uh yes we've got different ones yeah. in the pots today, today. Than, were you, than you would have okay so that's that question answered and someone then asks is the sparkle collection all of the pens available uh there were some other pens. <laughs> yeah, I love how you're answering that in slow motion. At some point. There were some other pens at but some point. You, but whether we still do them, I don't know. I right. think they're all the ones we that do we have now. currently, right. Um, yeah, I mean, the sparkle pens are just fantastic. It is a superb collection. It really is. Yeah. Now, look how quickly I was able to cover that area. Uh, and this is why, you know, if I'd used a pen to do that, it would have taken me a long time yes and like you said you'd have been putting that mechanism through I'd, paces, yeah I'd, I'd have been squeezing all the ink out yeah. so that i could do this which Ooh. is kind of daft isn't it because yeah. you can do this all in one go and you can even pull your color out as well so i'll just do this with some water just to pull that out so you can see look how fabulous love it that looks isn't that just gorgeous and I'm just going to do the same um, here. Evelyn says, I use my sparkle pots and aqua pots to make backgrounds with shaving cream. Now, funny Fantastic. you should say that. Uh, I know a man who uh, did that exact thing yesterday, and he did that particular demo uh, about 20 minutes into our show, and he spent the rest of the show uh, with green fingers. Great. Oh, how fabulous. <laughs> how fabulous. I love that. I told Fiona about it earlier on. Fiona was like, well, we all know, don't we? If we ever do that demo, we do it at, we the, do end it at the end of the show. Yeah. Not, not, not 20 minutes into it. <laughs> now, look, can you see what I'm doing now is just flicking that with water. Love it. And what that does is it gives me an absolutely beautiful, I'm just leaving it to settle there. And what we're going to do is just dab that water because it will lift off so again i've used the watercolor card so that is absolutely ready for me to do a background or to make into a card or whatever it might be now i'm going to move that one to one side because i want to show you something else that i've done with my pots okay because you get now where did i put it right this was actually from the christmas collection sorry about that but what i did 
was I popped a little bit of my pot into one of my spritzers oh. with a little bit of water. So now, look, now I've got a sparkly mister spray That's so brilliant. this is why these pots are so fantastic because you can really go to town and you're using such a small amount now i am going to dry that so that you can see that it's still sparkling so where did i put there's where i put it good so you'll still get the sparkle in there but it's going to be really diffused because i've got a little bit of the ink in there and then i've got a little bit so i maybe put say two mils yeah and then filled it up with about four mils of water if anybody's wondering so i mean yeah tiny tiny amount um just to update whilst you're just uh, drying that heating that the uh, summertime collection in the uh, ink pots don't scream and shout but that's now sold oh, out is it? summertime oh, right, is gone okay. summertime is over all okay, right. so what colours do we have We still left? have available the crystal clear, well that's not a colour is it, but crystal clear, uh, perfect pastels, glitz okay. and glamour and the forest glade, although glitz and glamour is going to be the next one to sell out. Okay, I'm going to show you these two backgrounds which I would most definitely be cutting and using to stamp and I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see the sheen and I'm going to tidy up for a minute okay. before we go on to the next one so can you see the sparkle in there can we get it so we see the sparkle yeah that there, there yes. we go so you're still getting the sparkle even though you've got a spritz but when I bring this one in you should really be able to Love see that, that one that effect as well it's just so isn't cool. it lovely yeah isn't it lovely absolutely Gorgeous. Wow. Right, so we've made two backgrounds and I've made, uh, yeah, I just need to tidy up for a bit and um, then we'll get on to something else. Well, whilst you're tidying, just a lo loads yes. of lovely messages coming in. Thank you. So we're asking you about um, what your sparkle for the weekend is. Uh, just to wrap up on the hummingbird chat that we had earlier on. Um, Susan says, sometimes when I've worn a shirt with a flower on it, a hummingbird has flown right up to <sighs> me. Um, they kind of hum or buzz, but are fascinating. Oh, wow. Um, and he here's um, everyone's sparkle for the weekend. Shannon on YouTube. My sparkle is cleaning the house. Blah. Ooh. Lucky you. <laughs> uh, dances with Pam on YouTube. My sparkle for the weekend is packing for a quick little vacation next week. Uh, we haven't been out of the house in months. Where are you going? I mean, we're nosy here. We need to know. Please, can you uh, let us know where you're off to, what you're doing? We might see you there. Uh, oh, dear. Sarah on Facebook says, the sparkle of my weekend was laughing at Ben's reaction to my comments in the earlier show. <laughs> I'm actually still laughing about it now. It was basically a typo which said, can I have a snog? Um, and well, I gave Sarah a, a, a bit of a snog, a virtual snog down the camera, but she wasn't after one. We still don't know what you actually <laughs> meant to type, so if you can message that back. Uh, and Therese on YouTube says, the sparkle of today is spending crafty time with my bestie, even if it is a part. Looking at all the beautiful samples, learning new techniques, and being part of a like-minded community. Uh, keep those comments coming in. Uh, like Leslie's, I've been searching for some gold sparkle paper today for a layer. Just realised I don't need to look as I use my pot of sparkle ink from the Christmas set. Hooray! Oh, um, fantastic. Great idea. Keep those comments coming in here. You can get social with us on Facebook and at our Instagram page and on YouTube. And um, basically, if you comment, if you ask a question, if you tell us what your sparkle for the weekend is as well, we'll put you into the draw to win one of uh, the cards, or a card that Fiona uh, has put together for you. Um, and we'll be doing that in just a little while. Now, uh, plenty on the show for you, as I've said. The collection of the pens flying out of the door, the uh, collections of the uh, inks as well, flying out of the door but let's get some more demos because uh it looks like fiona has uh, cleared up over there and she's ready and raring to go again now now ben ben's not seen this before so i said i would do this oh, yes. demo specifically for ben is this string yes yes there may be other people out there who haven't seen it either right so you're going to need two pieces of card you're going to need a piece of string huh and maybe a palette or just use one of your plastic trays that you've got so all i've done is i've curled my piece of string up i'm going to leave myself a tail and because i've got it out i'm going to use the pink garnet which is in the glitz and glamour collection 
so here we go so what I'm going to do you could still do this with the pen if you wanted to it would just take a wee bit longer yep. so what I'm doing is just soaking the string now what i sometimes do when i'm at home yeah is i just dunk the whole of the string in the pot all right but i'm being good today is that just <laughs> is that just string string it's not just any string, special string, string you know parcel yeah. string all right cotton string whatever yeah just any kind of string baker's twine you could yeah. use if you've got it in your collection at home right so just getting that good and good and covered here we go now, you can tell that I'm demonstrating this at home because, um, at work, rather than doing this at home because I would just dip that string in the pot at home, but I'm being good. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. And I do get very, very inky when I do this usually at home as well, but you know what? The ink washes off, so it's fine. Oh, so you don't need to put an apron on or anything, though. You don't. No, no you don't. No, so fine. shake the yeah. string out right. if you can, or pull it out if you can't. Okay. And then what we're going to do yeah. is just swirl this around. Right. That will do. I mean, that's not. That will do. That's not that impressive, is it? Really, it's bit not. Of a bit of string on a bit. Then of we're going card. to cover the card up. Right. Put your. I need to stand down off my step for this. Right. right. Put your hand on it. So I'm putting some weight on there, and yeah. then you pull what did you the do then? string out. It's like a magic trick. You're right. Wow! How fabulous is that? Should we do another one? Are you kidding me? That's brilliant! Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Do another one! Do I want another one! I again, go. again, Fiona. Right. I want to go! You, you don't have to put more colour on the string. You will get more than one pull out and you will get different effects depending on how Who the came string up with this swirls. idea? Do you I know? Mean... I honestly don't know. I saw it once yeah. on a YouTube tutorial and I went, I bet I can play with that. Do you know and you know, me? look at oh, <laughs> now look at that! Isn't that fantastic? Right, should we do one more? See if we can get one, one more. One more out of demo. That. One more right, demo. Right, here we go. We'll, and again, I'm still using that same piece of string, so you can see. You know, if you want a piece of artwork just for the wall, just to ring the changes. Yeah. This is a great way to do it because you could just frame them up. And you're a way to go. When you get bored with it, do another one. Do you know what this bit reminds me of? You know when the magicians pull the uh, tablecloth off a table and leave everything there? Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Look, Look at, at that. that. So we have got, and I've still got some ink in that. We have got... Show us the other ones as well. Yeah. So there's, there's one. Do you know, I'm going to have to hold them up a bit, I think. There's two. There's the first one that we got in there. So, in fact, I'm going to have to hold them up, aren't I? Yeah. Let's do them here because you'll be able to see that they still sparkle. Ah. So that was the first one. That was a pair of the first one. That one was the second pull. I like that one. I That's do. very, very nice. But still sparkling, by the way. And then there's a pair of the second one. Absolutely gorgeous. And there we've got... Do you know I've got an idea? There we've got the third one. Can we do another one of these? In a different colour? We can. Shall we do it? Shall we do it? I'll going, tell you what. Maybe at the end, Ben. Come on, we've got to do other things. I'll Can't tell you what. Messing I'll with string tell the whole show. What, yeah. We'll we'll just I don't know whether this will work, but we're going to put the string what? on again. What? It may not work. But we're going to give it a Fiona's try. Fiona's going off script here. This wasn't in the uh, in the rehearsal. What's she doing? It wasn't, was it? Oh, oh. I've got like a bouquet, of, a bouquet going on there now, haven't I? Yeah. I like that. It's like very ethereal. It's like one of my coffee cups. Love it. Okay, there <laughs> um, we quick go. Quick question before you move on. Yes. Just come in from uh, Ruth on Facebook. What paper should I use with the string technique? Watercolour card. Yes. Fabulous Companions, watercolour card. Honestly, it is one of the ones to go for. I mean, all the stamping card as well I've used for this technique. It works brilliantly. However, if you do that technique with your metallic inks that you get in jars, black cardstock looks amazing with right. your metallics. Right. I've not done this for a while, but I'm going to do it now go because uh, I'm well impressed by that. That last demo was. Ben's demo of the day! Oh! <laughs> yeah, Pat, maybe demo of the week! <laughs> so far. Oh, wow!
I love well, that, that. That's hard. That's going. That's going some for them to top that one then Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, isn't come it? on, Debbie, right. and Debbie and Debbie have got some work to do tomorrow. I tell you what, <laughs> they've got to top that. Who knew? Would have been a string watercolor card, and then that amazing, uh, that amazing ink. You could get. I mean. I'm gobsmacked, so gobsmacked, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a lie down here whilst you have a little look at a video which will tell you how to shop the show. That was amazing, I can't believe it. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. I don't know about you guys, but I want to see more string demos. <laughs> I mean... Do you know, you, you may just have to wait for a little Oh, while. come on, Fiona, seriously, I want more string. One. Yeah, maybe towards the end we'll do one more. Oh. Maybe. Maybe towards the end. Maybe I might get a go at doing it. Maybe I, after the Ooh. show, I could have a quick go. I could put it on me. Put it on my socials. Fantastic, fantastic! What a brilliant idea! Absolutely, anyone can do it, but it's really good fun. Right. Uh, just whilst you're getting ready, I just want to recap on. Uh, we'll do some messages in a minute, but let's recap on the deals we've got because literally, how cool are these sparkle pens? They're amazing, aren't they? We love them so much. Um, if you're thinking of going for the main bundle get going however if you're just wanting to dip your toe in the water or maybe the budget doesn't quite stretch for 20 pounds or 28 dollars today you can get the starter kit and this is brilliant for the fact that it will uh, bring you uh, three of your pens so within this collection you are going to get your aquamarine your amethyst and your pink garnet um, and again if you're getting these back and thinking oh how do i prime them how do i get these started watch the start of this show back and fiona explains in detail and shows you how to do it and um, you're also going to get with this collection your uh, waterproof dye ink that's included in the rustic brown so that's going to be used in conjunction with the amazing stamp that we give you as well uh, which is stunning that beautiful flower the floral delight with the sentiments if friends were flowers i'd pick you and thank you but the great thing is with this of course you've got plenty of space uh, to be coloring that in with your sparkle pens and what have we been talking about all the way through the show the best card that you need to be using for your sparkle pens your watercolor card and guess what we give you uh 15 sheets of that watercolor card within that starter kit so that is a really really good bundle to be going for if you just want to get started with your um sparkle pens however if you've been watching this show and you've been going omg I need this in my life. Please make sure you go for the full bundle. Oh, the full bundle. I'm just destroying the, uh, the just set destroying here. Destroying the set. Yeah. Are you? Oh, broken that. Can I? Have you got a? Have you got a tape pen? I can just stick this back on. Yes. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> so listen, you're gonna get. Hang on. Wait there. I can't wait. Hang on. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. There we go, just to put that back on. How did that fall off there? there Look <laughs> at me crafting! Look and at you crafting! There we go, da -da. Da -da. Thank you, that was demo one, how to use a tape pen. <laughs> uh, right, but no, seriously, back to the job in hand. So this is your Sparkle Ink Pen Collection. So you're going to get uh, the Floral Garden. Look at the sparkle you get on your Floral Garden. You are going to get all of these amazing colours from your Firefly to your Orchid to your Tangerine, your Pink Lemonade, Cotton Candy and Barn Red. Also included in this collection, this is your Nature Trail. The Nature Trail brings you watermelon and mushroom and lilac and lichen and garden green and look at that beautiful sunshine. Look at the sparkle. It's just phenomenal. Next up, autumn winter, bringing you that luscious starry sky, smoked quartz, the olive jade and holly leaf. Look down the bottom there, that red berry and the harvest moon. Look at the 
look at it. Come on. This is so lush. I love these pens. Right, next up, uh, spring, summer. I know the spring and the summer has disappeared, but listen, you can inject that into your crafty projects with these pens. You've got emerald green, solar red, pink champagne, moonlight, soft jade, and that blue topaz is just exquisite. And that is not all, friends, because you're also getting this coastal cottage with, I mean, these colours are sumptuous, aren't they? Magnolia and linen. Peach tree, that cornflower blue down the bottom, and the sea spray and pistachio. Oh my goodness. Amazing. You're also going to get for free within this collection, remember, Fiona's star of the show, no less, those... Um, uh, clear pens as well. They are also included within this bundle. Um, yes, so all of that included for such a low price. I really do think you're going to have such fun with this. The clear overlays are free. They're worth $12.99. You get the lot for uh, £74 or $98. Look at the saving. Saving six, I mean, $63.94 or $83.70. I mean, that's wow. a, that is a bargain, isn't it? That's an absolute bargain for what you can achieve with these and how much fun you're going to have. 20% um, of a big stock has gone. It is a 45% savings. Is that right? Yeah, it is, isn't it? 45%. Amazing. Honestly, you've got to get these. I urge you to get them because I love them. It's the first time I've seen them and I absolutely love them. Um, and also, I urge you to get the pots as well to do the string thing because that was yeah. my favourite thing. Do you know the, the lovely thing about the bundle of pens? The, yes. the fabulous thing about that bundle of pens is you get so many colours. You're going to have 30 colours to play with straight away. So, you know, I mean, it's a lovely way of getting a lot of sparkle into your life. And who doesn't want a lot of sparkle in their life? So look at this. This is a gorgeous card. Now this is worth mm, using. Yeah. This is that magical, um, the Christmas, Christmas magical cr stamps yeah. that we've got. Mm. So I just want to show you how easy it is to get that beautiful blend of colours using the pens. So I have got a very similar little one that I have stamped out here. And of course, this time I've stamped it out in my water watercolour. So what we're going to do is we're going to start just with the yellow to start to lay down the yellow. Now, I don't have to worry about going over my image because that's absolutely fine. So I've got now this color, it's yellow, but we call it moonlight. Yeah, that's the color that it's called. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to go moonlight. Then we're going to go for the barn red, Ooh. which is a kind of orangey red. Oh, yeah. So look at this. Look how well they blend. Yeah. Oh, just absolutely gorgeous. And then we're going to go in with the deeper red at the top. And I mean, the colour is just and stunning. Also, the coverage that you get as yeah. well. It's so swift, isn't it? Really is. Now, Yes, would Ooh. I would I use the um, pots sometimes to do backgrounds of this size? Quite possibly. Yeah. But I just want to show you. You know, I mean, the brush is very very um, responsive. Yeah. So you can use the brush. What I'm doing is I'm using the brush on the side mm. so that I can get more coverage going on there. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring that orange down into the yellow. So I'm going to go back in with the yellow and just bring that orange color down. Oh, fantastic. And again, you can see how those colors will just blend beautifully into one another. Yeah. And you know, if you want to a little, if you want that even more definite, what you can do, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to pop that on there and then I'm just picking up some more of that orange. So I'm using my glass mat as a palette just to pick a little bit more up mm. so that that goes from that deep, deep red right the way through. If you want to blend that caught that end out, of course, you have got your clear sparkle pens. You can just use that to blend that color out a bit more. So you've got that beautiful, seamless transition. And then, of course, what you're going to do with this is you're going to dry it because you cannot see the sparkle no until well you cannot see the sparkle as well until this is dry but when when this is dry the sparkle in this is absolutely phenomenal 
Um, really gorgeous. I've got a couple more samples made with these stamps as well, with sparklings, which I could show you too, if yeah. you like. Well, whilst you're drying, I'll show you um, the stamps that you've got, and then we'll have a look at the samples. So the Magical Christmas, uh, this is the uh, Holly Grove. So that's one that you're using uh, right now, is it? No, it's not at all, is it? No, yes. The, uh, yes, it is. It is Holly yes, Grove. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, then you're also going to get with this your Snowflake Kisses. All right. Um, also included in this collection is your Magical Christmas. Uh, as I say, we'll have a look at some more samples with you in just a second. And then you've got this one here, which is your Christmas Wonderland. Uh, £14.50 pence or $20.50 for that whole four-piece rubber stamp collection. So I just had a bit of sparkle all in one place. So I just wanted to move it around. So I just used an almost dry brush. But if I bring this round, can you see? Look at that bling. That is stunning. If I bring this one in, ah, you yes. can see. There we go. But I have got some other ones in that collection that you can see. I love this. Look at that. Ooh. And you've got those colours in your collection. Use your coastal colours for that. It's going to look gorgeous. It looks even better if I put it I up mean, the right way round yes, and you can read does. Noel. I was trying to read that actually. Uh -huh. oh, Leon. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my word, again with that garland, isn't that pretty? Imagine that as a Christmas card for someone. Here we go, here's another deeper toned oh, one of that wow. very same one. Aren't they beautiful? Stunning, 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 stunning. Shall we do another background using those stamps? Let's do it. Um, just whilst we're getting ready, uh, uh, Dancers with Pam, we asked you where you were going on your little vacation. Uh, taking a quick trip to Vegas. As you Ooh. do, uh, it takes us less than five hours to drive. We're meeting up with my oldest daughter for her birthday. That's brilliant, isn't it? Do you know, that's the thing I love about the States. There's so many great, well, I've not been to a lot of places in the States, but so many places that you assume are great. Vegas being one of them. I just love the fact, you know, like here, what would you do? Oh, I'm just nipping to Skegness for the, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, Skeggy's a nice place. I mean, I've worked in Skegness, but what I mean is, like, you know what Steady. I mean? Vegas, Vegas, you know, just sounds, you know, or like, Bogner, or where are you going this weekend? Oh, I'm going to Aylesbury, where I live. You know, <laughs> it's like, I'm going to Vegas, baby. Sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, what else have we got on here? Uh, Maureen, we're talking about what's your sparkle for the weekend. Maureen says, my sparkle for the weekend is, as it's been since March, staying home watching CC, most of the shows oh. live, and then going back to them and doing some cards. And Tracy Wood on Facebook, congratulations. My sparkle is my new granddaughter who was born oh. two days ago. That's lovely. Um, congratulations. Uh, and Sally on Facebook, this is my, my favourite message of the day so far uh sally i think ben is enjoying working at cctv i love watching him he is my sparkle for the weekend oh yeah you can pay her later yeah. Ben. 10 pounds is coming your way later, later sally uh right <laughs> fiona okay we've got some of my all-time favorite stamps on the show today and i am just going to take a moment just to read them out because they make me laugh and you know what that's, like half, laugh, don't we? that's half the fun of them. Yeah. So you've got happy birthday to my favourite human. Love yes. that one. I love this one even more. I fall in love with you more and more each day, except yesterday. Aww. Yesterday, you were pretty annoying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be anything but predictable. Good. Wishing you a day as unforgettable as I am. <laughs> <laughs> These are great. Aren't they good? I love this one as well. I met you, I liked you, I love you, I'm keeping you. Oh. And then finally, be yourself, because an original is worth more than a copy. Exactly. And you know, look, you can, you can turn that into a really sweet card. What I love about these sentiments is they're that little bit different. And you can use them, for example, I've used this on a sparkle background with an embossing folder, which you might recognise. They're going to work really, really well. Or maybe you're just going to do something like that. Ooh, Look at that. Yeah. Happy birthday to my favourite human. And I thought I'd show you how we do that background. That's sort of uh, ethereal. It is. It's rather good, isn't it? Rather mm. good, but so easy to do. I mean, they're great. We will show you some more samples with those, but they are good fun. Now, using these pens with white embossing, white heat embossing is a way where you can get your message down. Now, you can barely see that. I'm see what? fairly sure. Yeah. If I tilt it, you might be oh, able to see. Now. Yeah. yeah. There's something there. So what I've done is I've stamped and then used my white embossing powder to um, do that white on white. 
So what we're going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just spraying that with some water. That's just water in a spray bottle. What I'm going to do is I know that's about a four inch by four inch card. So I, so I don't waste any of my card. I'm just going to mark the four corners. And then all I'm going to do is scribble Ooh. on my um, mat. So again, I'm using primarily the Coastal Cottage because I like the colours. So using your mat as a bit of a palette? Using the mat as a bit of a palette, yeah, absolutely. Mm. I've got some pistachio. I want a green. I might have to just very quickly prime a green pen so I can go over that with folk as well. So if you've not seen me prime a pen before, shake it. Shake it. To wake it. Take the lid off. Yeah. Unscrew that bit. Yeah, take off the... Get rid of that yellow bit. You're not going to need it anymore. No. Screw it back on. And this, you'll hear it click when it pierces. Yeah. And then screw it on tight. That's the thing. You know, sometimes people come back and they say, oh, it leaks. It's because you've not screwed it on. So do screw it on nice and tight. Then you're going to push on the two bits which say push to encourage the ink to start flowing down. And do you know, I don't mind if this comes out that way, a bit of a blob. Yeah. And then just break the little bit of the seal on the brush. So I'm just going to splodge that green around a bit because I've yeah. got quite a bit of green going on there. But that's OK. So I've got pretty, a pretty mess, haven't we? We've got we a pretty mess. pretty mess. There's going to be a hint of green on this, I think. And then what we're going to do is a bit like a potato print. So I'm just going to lay that in the joy of this is you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> bit like the string ben a bit like the string oh we did another string like demo string. did you say yeah <laughs> we've got time yes. we've got time so then if i lift this up let's have a look oh we need a bit Ooh. more on that corner yeah. uh -huh. there we go so now Ooh. now at home what i would do is i would do something else with that but right. because we're here I'm just going to wipe it away. Now, if that hasn't spread as much as you want it to. Give it a spray. Give it a spray with some water. Right. And just, you can see, you can start to encourage it to move around. And as, don't use a brush which you've got pink on it though, but my water's getting a bit dodged. So we'll just have to live with that. There yeah. we go. But you can just spritz that around. And then when that's dry, you can just clean off your happy birthday to my favourite human. And you'll end up with something which looks like that. And all I've done is I've gone round and just highlighted with a thin black pen just to get that and just done some faux stitching around the side. So simple, isn't it? It, re it really is. It, do you know what? Again, seeing this for the first time, um, simple... Uh, kind of uh, instructions if you like simple uh, tips but then the effects that you get are just brilliant aren't they they really really are i would encourage you if the budget stretches to go for the um full collection we're really busy for it you're saving 45 percent i you know the fact that you're getting um all of these pens so uh 6 12 18 24 30, 33 isn't it that's right yeah for 74 pounds and 98 dollars should be 137.94 or 181.70. Big, big saving for you. And you're gonna have so much fun with these. Let's just go through again what you're getting in this collection. So you're getting these six piece collections, individual collections. First up is the Coastal Cottage, which brings you the sea spray, uh, your peach tree and your linen. You've also got your cornflower blue, your pistachio, and that gorgeous magnolia. So that's the first collection that you're gonna get. And look at the, the glitter that you get, that um, sparkle is just phenomenal. Also in this, your spring summer. So if you're still wanting to inject, you know, some vibrancy into your projects, this is gonna be great for that. You've got solar red and pink champagne. You've got your moonlight, which you saw a little bit earlier on in the uh, demo before. Uh, the emerald green, the blue topaz, and that wonderful soft jade, that makes up your spring summer collection. Autumn, winter, I really love this. I love all these colours. I actually love this time of year, actually, sort of uh, autumn and fall, as, uh, as you call it in the States. Um, smoke quartz is lush. You've got the olive jade and that harvest moon. Uh, the red berry is gorgeous. The holly leaf, I mean, those two down the bottom there, I mean, just Christmas, aren't they, really? And then that beautiful starry, starry sky. We've then also got the nature trail, uh, which brings you your garden green and the lilac and the mushroom. There's that wonderful watermelon. Uh, you've got your 
kitchen and also your uh, sunshine uh, down the bottom there as well. And then you're also going to get your floral garden. This brings you firefly and orchid and tangerine and pink lemonade. You've got your barn red in there as well. And then you've got your cotton candy. Remember, all of that is included. You've also then got your three clear overlay pens as well to give you, I think, an absolutely phenomenal bundle that you're going to have so much fun with. Um, £74 or $98. And remember, use this with uh, stamps. Use this with your um, your dies as well. Love the fact that we've got lots of different um, stamps and dies on the show as well that you're going to be using your sparkle pens with. Like, for example, uh, your quirky stamp... Um, Quirky sentiment stamps. I can't get my words out today. Quirky sentiment stamps. Now, we were looking at these a few moments ago with um, uh, Fiona. And again, just love these. Really, really cool. Very funny. Um, so you've got, I fall in love with you more and more every day, except yesterday. Yesterday, you were pretty annoying. Uh, be anything but predictable. Wishing you a day as unforgettable as I am. Happy birthday to my favourite human. I met you, I liked you, I love you, I'm keeping you. And um, be yourself because um, an original is worth more than a copy. They're really cool, very different. Um, 12 pounds or $15, you're saving 15% uh, actually. Other busy items on the show, not surprised that the Harmony Water Reactive ink pads are um, uh, very popular. Some fantastic colours in here, including your honey pot and your lemon tonic, which um, I've seen used very recently here on um, Crafters TV. Very popular. Fuchsia, pink tulip, noir black, lagoon, oasis, parakeet, sandstorm, ocean blue, baby blue, green topaz, and your Chinese red. All 13 of those ink pads for £50 or $70, saving uh, nearly £15 or just over $20. These are phenomenal as well. Lots of love for these, the Gemini Decorative Outline Die Complete Collection. 58 elements in total here. And again, these are just brilliant for using in conjunction with your sparkle pens because you've got so much room in between each of the, um, I suppose, uh, die cuts, if you like. Uh, to get colouring. So pretty petals. The Majestic Hummingbird comes in here as well, which you saw the demo uh, that Fiona did a little bit earlier on. You've also got two butterflies, the butterfly garden and the dancing butterflies. A little birdie in full bloom, beautiful bees and the sweet succulent. Uh, £87 or $109. Again, saving on this is off the chart. $72.92 you're saving here in the UK and over $90 is what you're saving if you are watching us in the US of A. Love that collection, do not miss out. Now, we've also got the uh, liquid inks for you. Everybody going for this crystal clear collection. We saw this again earlier on the show. You're getting three pots of the crystal clear for $12.99 or $19.95. We've got others available for you as well, but just to reiterate, with the, um, the ink pots, the summertime and also the traditional Christmas, they've gone, unfortunately. We do still have the Glitz and Glamour available for you as well as some other colour variants, but the Glitz and Glamour probably will be the next to go uh, because that is super limited stock. Now, we've got some lovely stamps on the show for you as well. Uh, get these again because you're going to be, you've probably already got some beautiful stamps and uh, dies at home that you can get going with. But I particularly love this collection, um, again, because you've got such beautiful images. We saw um, some of the Christmassy ones earlier on. This is your Fairy Garden stamp collection, which brings you your Sparkle Garden, also your Magic Garden, your Toadstool Home, which is just glorious. You've got Fairy Door, Fairy Magic, and then you've also got your Fairy Garden as well. Um, beautiful designs, all for £22 or £31 dollars. Right, um, lots of you loving the show. Uh, Rachel's saying, wow, uh, lots of great demos. I'm learning a lot from watching Crafters TV. Thank you to all the team at Crafters TV for bringing us such brilliant demos. I know they're pretty decent, aren't they? They're all right. Not too bad. Um, and Beth on Facebook says, Fiona is doing many great demos with explanations that are easy to follow. That's why I call her the queen of demos. That's why I call her the Queen of Demos, because great <laughs> well, demos. Well, he calls me that today when the others aren't in here. But, you know, you watch the other shows, we'll see. Uh, oh, I think you'll find I never, I never, utter, <laughs> I never utter that phrase, the Queen of Demos. <laughs> that, that's, that one's for you. That I do always say, 
One of my faves. That's yeah. the line that everyone gets. <laughs> um, but what I will say, whilst Fiona is here, um, she's always happy to answer your questions. She's always yeah. happy to show you different bits and pieces. Get your questions in. Get your comments in. We want to know, seeing as we're talking sparkle, what is your sparkle for this weekend? What are you looking forward to this weekend? Um, and if you do comment, you do send us a message on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. Uh, we will put you into the draw to win this card as made by Fiona herself. There we go. I just think it, that, you know, that is just a little bit of sunshine, isn't it? Yes. So this is my way of sending a little bit of sunshine to someone. And that could be yours. We'll do the draw in around about, ooh, 20 minutes time, I would say, because we've only got half an hour left. So about, oh. we better crack on with another demo, Yeah, I've Fiona. got at least three other demonstrations I want to get in. Wowzers. Right. So look, we're going back to this. Do you remember we made this background? We made yes. it using the Glitz and Glamour, and then I splodged some water on it. Now, making a background is all fine and dandy, but what can you do with it? Mm. So I've got the Deck the Halls folder. This is one of the 3D folders that we've got on the show today. Mm -hmm. So what you can then do is take your cardstock oh, wow. that you've made, and yep. we're going to create a beautiful card front. So, and it can be this easy. This is the thing, you know, you're going to take what you've got at home. Your cards will be unique. Absolutely, they will. Now, because that's a 3D embossing folder, I'm just trying it first off just with my two plates. I just want to make sure. Yeah, that's probably fine. I, Mm, what are you mm, checking for? Mm. Right, I'm going to try something. This Ooh. this may be a disaster, but you know, live demonstrations. I, I want to add in my metal plate because I want that to be a bit deeper. All right. So this is what the people tune in for, though, to see these improvs, to see a bit yeah. of you know tension in the demonstrations. That's right. But, you know, with the 3D embossing folder, absolutely the way you start is with your opaque and with your clear. However, if like me, you want a little bit more depth, oh yes, I've got a little bit more depth going on there now. Um, you won't be able to see that at the moment, but you will in a second right. when I do the next bit. Now we have got the most incredible set of inks on the show today. Ink pads, water reactive ink pads. They're going to work beautifully with other things you've got, but this has got three of my favorite colors of all time in the ink pads. We have got parakeet, lemon tonic, and pink fuchsia. And anybody who knows me will know that those, those colors there, those three colors there, are my all-time trio. They're, are they? they're, yeah, all-time trio. They're the three colours I go to time and time and Lemon time tonic, again. Lemon tonic, parakeet and fuchsia. Yeah, I and they're that. just three of the 13 ink pads you're getting in this collection today. So I'm going for the lagoon this time because I need something which is going to pop out this detail. So what we're going to do is just highlight the detail. Just look at this. Can you see how that detail ah. is now just like coming out? Colouring books you used to it get as a really kid. It really is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, you know, take your time, just highlight. So all I'm doing is touching or trying just to touch where the embossing is so that you can see what at home, what I can see in the studio. So you've got a little bell going on there. You know, don't get too exercised about it. If if you get a bit of ink in a place that you weren't expecting a bit of ink, go with it. Yeah. You know, um, stars are Christmas's butterflies, so you can always stick a star on it. I love that. So here we go. A star so you've is got, a Christmas butterfly. It really is. It really is. You can, you can get away with an awful lot just with that. So can you see I've got all of that decoration even those are cool they've got a little bubbles down there so i've got the deck the halls just there and then if you want to make it into a vignette all you're going to do is just run around the outside because your water reactive inks will play beautifully with your sparkle pens so it's not going to damage my sparkle pens in any way i'm just giving that a vignette if you want to you could also go over that with gold if you've got any of the inks or any of the pens or any of your glitter wax you've got going on but look that's can amazing you see that now? yeah uh -huh. and it's still got all the sparkle on it 
fantastic i mean the embossing folders are great and it's a lovely collection but it's also got this wonderful deck the halls in there as well so a sparkly deck the halls really good uh, this deck the halls sparkly deck the halls if you want it to be comes as part of this embossing folder uh, selection that we have got for you so there is the uh, the deck the halls that you just saw the last demo uh, with fiona doing uh, details at the bottom of your screen i think we're getting them up oh here they come on the side of the screen for you now also included in this collection uh, is this wonderful embossing folder here uh, which is your um what's it called little old tree Oh, little old tree. Isn't that gorgeous? If I flip that round as well, you can see more of the, uh, the image that you're going to get with that one as well. Next one is your, uh, your Rick Rack. Um, I thought, I thought Rick Rack was a, uh, an 80s pop star, I have to admit, but maybe... Oh no, that was Rick Rock, wasn't it? Um, so so the, uh, the Rick Rack is, uh, is also included. And then you're also going to get your Rose Blooms as well. So you've got, I, I suppose, uh, four real different styles of embossing folder right there. That one's gorgeous, isn't it, with the, um, the roses on. All of those for £12.98. That is a bargain. It is um, a real bargain. I've, I've used that phrase quite a lot today because there have been so many bargains for you to get your hands on. All four of those, $12.98, it's a 40% saving, uh, $17.94 if you're watching us in the States this afternoon. Um, well, keep those comments coming in. It's not too late for you to comment, by the way. Any questions, let us know. Anything you want to uh, tell us, anything you want to see particularly, maybe there's a particular colour that you want to have a look at, we can do that for you as well. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, leave your comments and uh, one lucky person will be winning Fiona's card. Uh, we'll do the draw for that in around about 15 minutes time. Uh, Beth saying Fiona doing some great demos today. We know, she always does, she always does. Uh, and Tracy on Facebook says, all beautiful colours. I think I'll have a go at some full cards using the sparkle pens for the backgrounds. Yeah, sparkle pens are great, but don't forget the, the ink pots as well. Even better, I suppose, for the backgrounds as well. Because uh, what did we say? They're, they're good for doing your big splodges, aren't they? You know, your big, your big background big, big things. Backgrounds. Splodgy backgrounds, yeah. Uh, now we've got more demos to come. We've got 25 minutes remaining. And I know that we've, of course, got another string demo uh, coming up a little bit later we have. on. We'll leave time for that one, I promise. Uh, but first, before that... Uh, we, we're going to look at another demo. I mean, it'd be great, but probably not quite as good as the, the string one. Do you know, I think it might be because I absolutely love my stencils and most people who know me love my stencils. And you can see I'm using this white um, watercolour card again. Now, I nicked these because <laughs> I was in these. earlier. These were in Sarah's cartload show. Yeah. So go back and have a look because they are amazing. They are 3D stencils and you are getting Paris, beautiful skyline. You are getting this wonderful French vine, which is gorgeous. I mean, that would be great stenciled in a kitchen as yeah. well. You know, use these stencils. These are eight by eight stencils, big size. Bit of home deck would be a wonderful. You get the postmark as well with the fleur-de-lis, really lovely. That's got a script in the background, really gorgeous. And the one I'm going to use, which is called, what's it called? It's just called the one I like. What's it? Um, this is called Carte Postale. Oh, yes, this Carte is Postale, a yeah. wonderful, wonderful iris. And you'll see the stencils come in three parts. By the way, that card is made with those three ink pads that I said I loved. So the parakeet, the fuchsia, the lemon, absolutely stunning. They are just joyful colours. They are the kind of colours you need to have in your life. You really do. Right. I'm just going to pop this. Do you know, I'm making myself a mountain over there. We're just going to hope that I don't nudge it oh, flying. Yeah. Like a, I've got a or mountain over there. going on there. So look, these are all the inks that you, these are all the um, water, water reactive inks that you're getting. And you can see you're getting 13 in this collection, which is absolutely gorgeous, including the lemon tonic, the oasis, the fuchsia that you've got in there. You've got pink tulip. You have got um, ocean in there. I mean, just a huge sandstone, emerald, Chinese red, honey pot in there and a noir black. Absolutely gorgeous. There's probably another one, but I did well to remember those, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, so what I've got going on is I have got my stencil. Now, what I'm going to do just to save time is I'm just going to use some tape on the top just here. Mm -hmm. What I love about these stencils is they really are 
quite forgiving and we'll just pop a bit on the bottom here now at home i might use temporary adhesive I've just written, yeah, i'll tell you what i'm going to move this mat up a wee bit so you can see what i'm doing just kind of because i've i've realized i'd stamped that down and hadn't shown you what i was doing <laughs> okay so what we're going to do is lemon tonic first let's make sure yep got lemon tonic going on there as well so using this is the first layer of the stencils this gives me the dots and the outline of my flower so all you do when you're using your water reactive ink pads is just use them to push through because they're water reactive they are designed to blend so they are perfect for using with stencils because they're not going to be all wet and scrudge underneath your stencil they're just going to go where you need them to go yeah. so we're just going to pop these dots around now i'm going to do the dots in yellow mm -hmm. i'm then going to shift onto pink the um pale pink to do the iris itself so i've got my pink tulip which i'm going to use to do the iris uh, Doris has been in touch and said I've just ordered those stencils which fantastic is, um, which they is are gorgeous nice. they're, they're great as well I sent to Sarah earlier on I think we've chatted about this before stencils are um, a, a great craft to get into if you're kind of new to it and you want something which is easy to get started yes. with and that you can get instant results from really isn't it absolutely because what they do is they give you the guide and then you can provide all the creativity through the colors that you choose yeah. what you choose to do them on and these stencils are really robust so what that does is it enables you to use an awful lot of mediums on them. You could use your glitter paste on these. You could use acrylic paint with these. You'd have to wash them fairly quickly afterwards. And I'd maybe use a sponge, but they're a big size, as you can see. So I've just got my pink on there. And then in that bundle, you get a green topaz. So I'm going to do my leaf at the bottom here in my green topaz. Here we go just need to remember to put a doodah on oh yeah the pretty doodah don't forget me doodah yeah absolutely have you got by the way have you got all of the pens over there because we've had a request from um dieta about seeing one of the particular pens yes yes i have um, so which said, color but it says could you show the black glitter pen which i think ah. must be the smoked quartz no that is actually a deep deep brown ah. there is a black glitter pen it comes with the metallics but that is actually a deep deep brown so yeah ah. i can show you it but it is a deep deep brown um rather than the true black you will you may be able to find the true uh, black yeah. on the website okay so we'll have a look at that in a bit for you what i'm going to do is just lift that off okay. so you can see where i'm going with That's that a bit of a start isn't it bit of a start absolutely so now we're just going to put the second layer on now the second layer is my one which has got my carte postale so le carte just, postale that's it just going to line that up there that's postcard that is that is yeah it mm. really is oh it you speak a bit of french as well don't you fiona tiny bit yeah yeah like very me. tiny bit of a level french well o level that's uh, steady. Oh, I, steady i know i did a level <laughs> what i like is i love going to france and i i do i speak I speak conversational French, but uh -huh. um, what annoys me, what well, doesn't annoy me, but you know, if you go to somewhere, say if you go to Paris, for example, mm -hmm. and you try and speak a bit of French, mm -hmm. they, the French people obviously cotton on straight away and they go, well, it's <laughs> silly English man trying to speak our language. And then they automatically start speaking English to you. And I just, I just like, come on, no, just please, just talk to me in French so I can like practice. Just humour me, seriously. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But um, do you, you know what? Um, yeah. I we went. I know I don't look like I used to ski, but I did you very sure? badly. But I did used to ski, oh. and we went to um, a resort in France. Now I don't ski very well. In fact, Apre ski is where I excel. Yes, that's Absolutely. where I begin. Absolutely. So, what um, what I decided to do? Do you know I might do that in a darker colour so you can see it. Um, yeah, let's go for honey pot. That will do. That will do nicely. Right. So anyway, this bar called the Parrot Bar. 
The parrot bar. Class, classy joint. Yeah. Um, at the bottom of the ski slope, ah! we used to go to for lunch. Now, for all week, I, I laboriously tortured this poor waiter <laughs> with my incredibly bad schoolgirl French. Yeah. Um, and on the very last day, he spoke to me in perfect English. Aww. And I went, gee, thanks. Gee, thanks. All but week I've been trying really hard. Yeah. At least he let you have a go. They, the, yeah. the French people don't normally let me, <laughs> me, 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 uh, me speak. Maybe he thought uh, there, was, there were signs that it might improve during the week and then thought, yeah, no, actually, it's not going to happen. No. You never know. I'm going to take some of that Chinese red. Do you know, I'm just playing now because I can, because these colours are just sumptuous they really are so there's the sign done so now we're going to go in and put the remaining detail into there with the fuchsia fiona yes. say tray bon say tray bon oui. yes murky murky buckets murky buckets oui. yeah uh, bonnet all, de douche yeah yeah i do speak french a wee bit like del boy to be fair del boy yeah <laughs> bonnet de douche rodney bonnet de douche uh, oh dear for all those only fools and horses fans out there <laughs> so, <laughs> here we go so there's the flower so we're just going to lift this layer up and then can you see how this is building up absolutely gorgeous isn't it gorgeous 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 now i'm going to go in with some parakeet Ooh. parakeet because i just like it parakeet That's fuchsia right. and lemon tonic i remember yeah absolutely so we've used a few more of the other ones in here as well. Oh, look at that. What? Tell you what, we'll have a nice fresh bit of tape. Why not? Treat yourself, it's yeah, Friday. treat myself, it's Friday, Ooh. isn't it? Push the boat out, are. Fiona. I'll have a nice bit of tape. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll have another bit. So that'll go just about there. And we'll just pop this in. Because the thing about these water reactors, the minute you put them over a different colour, you're going to get a different colour emerge. So yeah. when I go for... The parakeet, what I'm hoping is, it's going to turn into a purpley colour as I put it over that pink. We'll soon find out though, won't we, <laughs> eh? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And if not, I like parakeet anyway, so it'll be fine. So here we go. And actually, yep, that's working beautifully. Look at this. Absolutely beautifully. Now look, from start to finish, nothing prepped. How long did that take me? A couple of minutes? Uh, about Five minutes, maybe? Uh, uh, I think three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. Okay. So that is a whole card front or picture that you could be popping in a frame. And when you got bored with it, you could change it for one of the others. And all we've done is use a piece of the card. Take a look at that. Take wow. a look at that. Isn't that stunning? That's amazing. That is just gorgeous. So get the inks, get the stencils. They are fantastic. You will be able to do something which is nearly as bright as the top I'm wearing. <laughs> I love that top as well. It's one of my faves. <laughs> um, Thank you. Just brilliant. Another fantastic demo. Uh, we are rapidly running out of time. Just over um, 10 minutes to go. Let's give you a recap on uh, these amazing ink pads. Uh, Cause which are Fiona's favorites, everybody? Parakeet, Lemon Tonic, Fuchsia. There you go. Um, but also in this particular 13 piece collection, you are going to receive your Chinese Red, your Honey Pot, Lemon Tonic, Fuchsia, Pink Tulip, your Noir Black, that lagoon, oasis, parakeet, sandstorm, ocean blue, baby blue, and your green topaz. I've just heard some great news in my ear. Uh, we don't forget we need to show Dieta that um, smoke quartz okay, pen. Okay, but will do also that. I'm gonna get a string demo. Yay! Yay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, now. Also proving really popular is this decorative outline uh, collection. Um, first is the B collection. So within this B collection, you get your, well, two Bs, funnily enough, uh, which brings you your uh, Bs and your sweet succulent, 23 pounds or $29 saving $16.98 or $20.90. Uh, $20 You've then got your birdie duo. Uh, your birdie duo brings you your little birdie and in full bloom, £23 or $29. Then this is lush, isn't it? The, uh, the, uh, the butterflies. 
uh, which is Butterfly Garden and Dancing Butterflies. Uh, again, a, a big saving whether you're with us in the UK or in the States, £23 or $29. Hummingbirds, most popular. I'm not surprised. It was such a lovely demo that we saw earlier on um, with this particular set that Fiona was showing us. Uh, the Hummingbird collection you've got there is the Pretty Petals and that Majestic Hummingbird as well. £23 or £29. Dollars, but it's the big bundle that everyone's going for with 58 elements that brings you all of those and just to give you a bit of an idea of some of the um, goodies that you're going to get within this collection uh, we've got some beautiful finished samples here from our uh, design team this is um, Trudy's Sweet Succulent again just fantastic some of the things that you can do with this collection I love this one which is your uh, beautiful bees um, if I can just open that one up look at that how cool is that that one's included in the set uh, this one here is your in full bloom. Again, and as Fiona was kind of pointing out, if you're not into your, um, your stamping, th these dies are absolutely brilliant uh, for you to be able to get your sparkle pens working with as well. That's your dancing butterflies. We've then got your um, butterfly garden once again. And this is the die that we saw uh, a little bit earlier on, which loads of you are going for individually, that majestic hummingbird really living up to his, uh, his tag there. And then we've got the final one, which it is... Which one's this? Pretty Petals, I think. Is it called Pretty Petals? There we go. Uh, so you get all of those and more. It's um, 58 for £87 or $109, saving nearly £73 or $90 just over. Absolutely brilliant. Get that into your basket because they are fantastic. Right. The main collection, as well as those um, dies, these sparkle pens have been flying out of the door. Um, I'm so glad that I got to do this show. First time I've seen the sparkle pens. And uh, I hope that I will get to see them again because they are just brill, aren't they? Um, you've got the whole collection here, which is uh, $74.98, saving nearly £64 and nearly $84 brings you the whole collection, which includes your floral gardens. It brings you the nature trail as well. It also brings you autumn, winter, all these colours included. That's the smoke quartz, which I think we're going to have a look at in a second. Uh, your spring, summer. And then you've got your coastal cottage. So you've kind of got all of the hues, all of the different colours that you would need with that sparkle, with the three clear overlays as well. And it's a 45% saving, massive saving on a beautiful, beautiful bundle, which I know you're going to get so much use out of. Just before we get on to the final demo, I have done the, uh, the draw for our uh, winning comment. Uh, so the winner of Fiona's card is going to be uh, Evelyn Kiefer. Uh, oh, so Evelyn, congratulations. This is the card that there Fiona made, uh, which is going to be yours. So Evelyn just needs to contact you on your Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. so if you go to Fiona Clayton Crafters Companion, send me an instant message. I will pick it up and I will take this with me and get it in the post to you. Well done, Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn, congratulations. That card is yours. Yay! Yay! And now for even more excitement, uh, let's see some string. Yeah, let's see some string. Who knew that string was going to be so... Oh, I... oh. Here we go. So, is this the smoke quartz? I'm going to show you that in a second. Oh, I was sorry. just getting no, the all, string one ready. It's blue. Do you know, impatience, say. Hey? Right. Gloria, this yep. is a smoked quartz. So you'll see it is a brown. It's a deep, deep brown when it goes on. Absolutely gorgeous. But I did just do a swatch so that you can see. The difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this up, but you'll see what I mean. It is a deep brown oh, black. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Can you see? Deep brown black. So the both of them are the smoked quartz. I've just gone heavier with that bottom one. So there we are. That's the colour that you're getting in the pens. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. Right. Now for yes. the mess. <laughs> right. I don't know whether this is going to work. I'm sure it will. So, you always say well, that, Fiona, and then it always works. Yeah, but that's just because I enjoy making a mess. So what I've done is I have taken a variety of the pens this time, which is why I've done it on the glass mat. There we go. So I'm just going to move that to one side for a second. Carefully lay that around my tray just so I can clear up this bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to see whether we can do a multicoloured string pull. I cannot wait. This Who should be knew? good. That I would get so excited about a piece of string. Do you know, it's good fun though. And it's even better fun to do yourself. Even yeah. better fun to do yourself. So we've got a piece of card. 
You'll notice I leave myself a nice long tail. Mm. That that prevents me getting too near the dye. Okay. <laughs> right. So we'll just see whether I've put enough on there. It looks a bit like the uh, Olympic rings at the moment. It does actually. And then we're going to put the card on and whoa, something's happened. Whoa! Look at that! that. Brilliant! Isn't that good? I've that got a lot works, of time for these demos. It? That works. That really works. Yes. Do it for what? Have I got any more card cup? Come I'll on, just find some card. Let's do some find more. Find some card. More, more, more. More, bring more card. <laughs> Come on. Okay. We okay. So there's one. I've got some smaller bits of card here. Yeah. I can't remember what I cut them for, but I tell you what. We'll for string, for that's this. what you we cut them. We obviously cut them, you cut them for the string, string demo. didn't we? Yes. So here we go. So what we're going to do is we'll just swirl that whichever way it wants to fall. Yeah. Sandwich here we go, here the we card go. Hold in. your breath, everyone. It's a good thing nobody's standing behind me, isn't it? Oh! Again, that feel... looks gorgeous. Again, again, again. Again, again. Yeah. Do you know, you're like my nephews. When You know when you used to um, jump them on your knee when they were small yeah. and you'd sort of do horsies with horsey, them? Horsey, horsey. And you'd be getting shattered and they'd be going, yeah, yeah again, again, again. Fiona, again. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Yeah, this is really fun, isn't this, it? Come yeah. do it now. They're way over six foot, both of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So there Ooh, we go. That one's very yeah, ethereal. A bit more so that one. we've got the pastely one. Then we've got the second generation. Ooh. And then look These at These are like those. works of art, aren't they? They, are, they just work so, so well. And I love that you can see the different colours. So if I hold this one up, you'll be able to see. Look, you can got the yellow at the top, then the pink merging into that green, and then the blue, and then that beautiful purple. And you've still got the sparkle at the end. That is sensational. These pens are an absolute must, especially when you've got that incredible, I mean, stunning saving. That works out, even if I could do the maths, which I can't, it's only just a bit over two pound a pen. Yeah. And these are fantastic pens. You know, if all you do is play with string pulls, you will love them. You will absolutely love them. Um, sorry for stringing you along, Fiona. Go on. No, that was the joke. Oh, that's Cause okay. Because that, you had the string, so what was the... I was stringing you along. It was just... Moving swiftly on, uh, lots of you... <laughs> I, was, I was laughing quietly to myself. <laughs> lots of you uh, loving... Lots of you loving the string um, demo as much as me. And uh, Lynn actually commenting, saying, uh, I'm going to have to try the string effect. Please, can you all try the string effect and then send me the pictures uh, into Are us? Are you going to have a go after we finish? I might do. I've got, I've got quite, I've got quite a nice shirt on, so I don't want to. <laughs> have you got, have you got an ape? Have you got an apron? Just in we'll case. Find oh, there's you one an over apron. there. Oh, I'll stick an apron on, you. and we'll do a quick. Uh, we'll do one for me social, so you can f follow me. Ben Mosby beyond Crafter's Companion. Is that right? Yeah. Facebook. Follow me for the, another string demo. Oh, and on the Instagram as well, on the grams. I don't know what my thing is on the grams. Uh, ben Mosby CC, I think. Not sure. Anyway, uh, let's have a final look at these uh, pens because you've got to get these in your life, seriously. These have been the star of the show. Uh, Fiona's pick, uh, the fact that you are getting um, all of these with the clear overlay pens. Um, well, kind of, well, they are for free, really, because you're paying £74, a 45% saving, $98. Uh, this is the, uh, the full range that you're going to get. Okay, so the Coastal Cottage brings you your sea spray, your pistachio and cornflower blue, your peach tree, your magnolia, and your linen. Next, you're going to get your spring summer. Take a look at that blue topaz, gorgeous emerald green. You've got that solar red, the pink champagne, and the moonlight, and that soft jade. Uh, amazing. Next, we go from there to the autumn winter. Again, that's that smoke quartz that we saw just a few moments ago. A bit more of a browny colour, as you said, not rather than the, the black that we were talking about. Olive jade. You've got your harvest moon. Look at the starry sky. Love it. Then you've got your holly leaf and your red berry. Next, your nature trail. Gorgeous mushroom and lilac. 
and uh, your garden green, you've got your watermelon, you've got your um, lichen, and you've got that um, sunrise as well, the sunshine, I should say. And then finally, your floral garden. Look at that. You've got your barn red and tangerine, that gorgeous firefly, uh, your cotton candy, pink lemonade, and your orchid as well. All that in the bundle. Remember then you also get your three, three clear overlay pens included. £74 or $98. I really, really love the show and I love that collection so much. Just enough time to see some final finish samples with our Fiona. Okay, so just, just in case you're still on the edge, look at what you could do with your white embossing, using that white heat embossing to get in all the detail. Or maybe you're going to use them with your beautiful ink pads and then just use that to pull out the colour with your clear sparkle for the peacock or maybe you're going to use it to create the most incredible fiery backgrounds doesn't that card look stunning yeah but you know you could be using these to actually create your own beautiful look at that that's that cotton candy color isn't that lovely or maybe using them with your stamps to create Ooh, yeah. backgrounds or perhaps you know use them with your um oh, yeah. your wonderful stamps now that is that that is the pretty pastels colors collection doesn't that work so so well for an under the sea and remember you can still stamp with these and spritz with them and use them just to color in if that's all you want to do do you know there are so many techniques this is the thing there are so many techniques that you can be doing with these we have just touch the surface for example i didn't get a chance to show you how to stamp with them maybe that's for the next time we do a show but also you can be doing your backgrounds we did quite a few of those we did faux bleaching with those um there is a string pull Yay! that you've seen me do a few <laughs> times but you can be stamping with them but you can also be going over things like if you've got any foil cardstock or your cardstocks in your collections at home you can be using those as well you will love them absolutely love them and of course you can also use them with your salt what doesn't that look amazing an amazing final um demo to see what an amazing show Got to say a big thank you to all of you for uh, commenting. Uh, well done to Evelyn, uh, Evelyn Keeper. You've won the card um, from Fiona. Don't forget to uh, message her privately on her own page, Fiona um, Clayton at Crafters Companion on Facebook to get your card sent out to you. And we must say a big thank you to the Queen of Demos herself. Uh, thank you so much, Fiona. Oh, thank you, Ben. I've loved it. It's been a brilliant show. I really enjoyed myself. When are you back with us? On the 16th for another Colour Me Happy. I seem to be creating a theme, but this time we're going to be playing with illustrators. Ooh, I think I'm back for that one as well. Can we do some more string demos? Uh, uh, do you know, I don't know whether it will work, but we'll try and squeeze it in somehow. Uh, big thank you to Fiona. Thank you to you for watching as well. Uh, whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a great time. Make sure you join us tomorrow. I'm back for my final day tomorrow, Masterclass with Debbie Fisher. Uh, and it's not my final day ever, my final day for this week. Um, and we've also got uh, my first ever Craft House coming up tomorrow as well uh, with Debbie Robinson. Looking forward to that. Have a brilliant day. Have a sparkly weekend. And we will see you tomorrow here at Crafters TV. Bye for now.